Don't tell me I ended up getting just a random treasure for no reason. Yeah, I did. That was not the treasure I was supposed to get. I think that's the first time I've gotten just a random treasure. So we're going to have 51 treasures by the time this is all said and done, turns out. Yowzers. Oh, right, because I didn't need to use the bombs that I just exploded to get into that room. That should have been my, my tip-off. That was something I could have got just with the high jump boots. Well, I should have been clued in, but it turns out I wasn't. Well, I think the bombs were here, which lets me get into this room, which is going to let me turn invisible for some reason. But first, I need to be flamed to get through those. Oh, but this is the wrong... Oh, no, I need to be invisible to get through these. Well, let's work one at a time here. So that worked out timing-wise pretty perfect. Cleared the way on that. Ow. And now, if you don't mind, please, please, Mr. Crazy Scientist, who has, like... <laughs> if you notice, his he's got... Am I up here? Yes, sparklies are here. my sparklies. Oh, whoa, you can jump, and I didn't want that. Damn it. Ugh. I thought I jumped out of the fire before because I was... <sighs> now I'm in the fire when I come out of it. Am I going to be invincible enough to get out of the... Yes, thank y'all. Much appreciated. He's like, he's done the Mojo Jojo thing where he's cut his brain open and, uh, and it has, or cut his skull open and exposed his brain. Why mad scientists do this and think that it gives them... Okay, can I get off? Thank you. Why it thinks it gives them, like, better, uh, powers for operating their brain, I will not know. I guess maybe so that they can study their own brain is is the is the mad scientist idea there, but who actually knows? I don't think that's a real trope, or or, or that trope has any grounding in reality. Uh, a, a weird form of trepanation, if it is. Oh, wait! I, I'm I'm invisible and trying to do this stupid roly poly jumping puzzle. I guess that's what's happening now. Oh, but it's not gonna let me get the treasure chest anyway, so I'm gonna have to be flamed and... Ugh. Dang it. This is not at all what I wanted to happen. I was actually trying to leave this zone and hope that would, uh, uninvisible me. To be uninvisible is to be visible. Thank you, Jonah, for... For clarifying that one. Dumbass. You can tell this is actually the treasure I was supposed to get rather than the one that I wasn't because I'm having trouble with this one, whereas, you know, just getting the the sofa and or car, depending on how you look at it, was... You... Okay, well, you know. Next obvious thing that has to happen is gonna have to happen now. Hit me up, scientist daddy. Actually, I would I would prefer to went with potion daddy there. That just sounds a little... I'm going into battle, and I need your strongest potion. You cannot handle my strongest potion. But I'm going into battle, and I need your strongest potion. Can I, there we go, please, and thank you. We're in the clear, and I am no longer invisible because of that panda bear for some reason. Where the hell am I going and what am I doing? What, what is this? Okay, so I need to roll and jump over this. 
I've lost the plot of this level, guys. I had the plot of this level, and now it's gone. And I'm just kind of doing things as they come to me. Okay, there we go. No, never mind. I, I did it. It's all good. No problems. We good. Um, another bag. This one... We had a bag already. The bag that contained wind. Or maybe it was rain. Or was that a pot? That was a pot that contained rain? This is a bag that contains wind or something. Nope. Still no idea where I'm going. Please tell me that that was actually the place that... Okay, so now now they want me to go to the stagnant swamp. Instead of pushing me back into that cave, it's like, actually, you're supposed to go for the blue chest instead of the green chest. What the hell did I blow up here? I don't actually know. Was it something this way? There is a... There's a blue key. I don't actually know where I'm going here. Okay, please to not be being where you are. No thank you. Maybe if you sting me and let me float all the way up here, because yes, this is where the blue key is. Was there an up on the other side that had a blue to it? No, come this way, please, and thank you. Yeah, come on. Or is this just going to be another gold coin? No, there is something up here. I honestly don't remember any of this. This is just for a gold coin. No! No, never mind! This is what I was supposed to do. And that does look plot important, or at the very least like a jumble of pixels that I couldn't make out exactly what it is, so it's probably a magic item that you use in the bag. It is a whirlwind that puts into the bag and bounces around and comes back out bigger? What in the hell is any of that? It's a part of Out of the Woods, I guess, is what it is. Oh, don't, don't walk all the way back to Out of the Woods. We are on the far side of the map. It is time for the easy stuff. Now, you're going to direct me to Out of the Woods, but I already kind of knew that. It's been a while since we've been back at the start of the game. But lo and below, or lo and behold, here we are. And I blew stuff away, apparently. I bet you I could get up there if I had a guy that I could throw. What you got up here, bud? Anything fun up here? Nope, just a coin. And those guys throwing apples uh, are the same, do the same thing as the dudes throwing donuts. They will make you fat, and of course, fat people will fall through those crushed blocks. Now, I absolutely destroy that mole, but we were already down in that hole for other reasons. What's in here? Oh, I've made these leaves fall with my wind. Really, that was it? That was all that giant, like, wind explosion did? See, this is where it lets you skip to. I get to skip a bunch of that if I, by, by like, zap, being zapped properly on uh, those, those guys' 
bouncing back and forth, I think that there is a way you can skip a section of this. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm maybe I'm going crazy. So we found the out we need. Where is the in? Also, why was I able to break those blocks? They do absolutely nothing for me. War, huh, absolutely nothing. Of course, there is that, which lets me... Oh, and I can make the spider guy come down. I can break him. Okay, no, so there is something down here. Aha! I found a secret! But I'm pretty sure this is not where I'm supposed to be going. Oh. Red key. Pretty useless. Why is that important? Maybe it just is a quick way to get all of the, uh... All of the eight golden coins. And that's not important. God, guys, I'm lost in the first level. Although it has been a hot minute since we explored here, you know. Oh, if I had my, uh, if I had the guy that I could jump on, I could have grabbed that. Please, let me use your body. And that also lets me get up here. I've collected a good chunk of these golden coins. Now watch, that leaf room that I had no problem with just breezing through. Get it, breeze, because I, I had to... I had to get a bag full of wind to get in here. It's gonna give me trouble, just like getting back to this room is giving me trouble. Please to be letting me jump. My thumb is cramping on this Xbox controller, and I'm not a big fan of that. I've been going for an hour and a half, so, you know, there's some, there's something to that. But I am bound and determined to finish this on, finish this in one recording session. Is this our last power-up? I think this might be the last power-up, guys. Second to last power-up. This will allow us to fight currents. Doesn't let us swim any faster, usually just lets us fight back against those pesky currents. This is why I generally try and, and rush to... Because along the, along the critical path of the game, you get all of Wario's upgrades, which sometimes makes getting the, like, optional treasures easier, where you can just explore levels quicker. You know, you have the, you have the dash that lets you break blocks, you can jump higher, and you can, uh, you can swim against currents. Bank of the River Wild. Which is this one, right? Yeah. Because now I can just ignore you, current. Of course, I think where I want to be is right at the end of this, so might as well go the easy way. I don't have to worry about breaking all these blocks because... Oh, actually, I almost do know what I need to do. This one tripped me up for a while. Hey, look, one suspicious block in this direction. Oh, what's that? You can break in here, and I bet there's gonna be a hidden cave, and this is where my key is, probably. Maybe, for where I'm going. No. Just a golden coin. Please be something of, of worth. Nothing of worth. Never mind. I feel like there's a hidden cave in there that does hold a key or a treasure box. Because I do remember being stuck for a while on the hundo trying to get that. At least we're getting money. Although so far no more mini games that I've had to do. Which is nice. Not complaining about... I'm not complaining about, uh... Not having money to waste on golf. Can I get up there? X 
extra dead. <laughs> okay, maybe this is the one. There we go, red key. See? See, I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. I knew there was something there. Although, look, it's not going to be the red key that I need to, uh, to beat this level. Is this one of those lattice mazes that I'm going to have to do? Yes. Okay. These can be a bit of a bummer. They're actually, there's actually one level in the hundo that is probably the, the reason I don't want to do a hundo. Uh, is it has to do with doing stuff on these lattices, and they suck butts. Just because it's hard to tell uh, when you can grab onto stuff and when you can't. Tried to get sneaky with it. Just trying to be, trying to be funky. Turns out, funk is frowned upon. Which really is quite sad. Funk should never be frowned upon. Like there, I wasn't, I wasn't grabbing the, uh, the lattice proper, and I, I knew that I wouldn't be. You basically have to be hanging lower than you think you should be. No one ever wants to be hanging lower than they think they should be. That's just, that's a sorry state to be in right there. Okay, come up alongside me. Go. Bumping into the side of it made me let go, but I was able to regain my composure. Good, good, good for me. Oh. Butts and stuff. Yeah. Pleased to not be... Coming up from the bottom doesn't matter because... I mean, you're already pressing up, which is the... God damn it. Which is the button you need to re-grab the lattice. Like, you think this is bad. There is... There is a level... Uh, during the... During the tail end of this game that is real nuts. Okay, well now I've got the red key and the green key, and there is something over there. Is the treasure chest just there, like, at the end? Like, here's the green key, here's the treasure chest. They're literally on the same screen. There's no obstacles between them. It was just, can you can you do this lattice stuff? Because that would just be more of an admission of guilt on the game designer's point for, ah, we know we didn't quite get the programming right, or the, the collision box and the controls for this as smooth as we'd like. Is there something in here? Is this just gonna be the green treasure chest? More crap here. Oh, and we've got super current that we can't even get around. Okay, this is this is a longer level. There's actually some substance here. Boss battle? Boss battle? Yo, what's up, boss battle? Eat stinky cheese? What the hell is this boss battle? I know I did this. Like I said, I have I have a hundo file. This is just absent from my memory as far as I can. I'm trying to get this disgusting rat fish to eat the stinky cheese. And then he would probably grab me and take me down to the bottom of the lake and... You got this, bud? I keep knocking the cheese in, man. I keep knocking the cheese in, and it just ain't doing nothing. You... Thanks for, at the very least, not dragging me down. Are you gonna eat that bloody cheese? Well, maybe there's your problem, that it is bloody cheese. This is not a boss battle. This is pure random luck. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I wish I knew what I was doing wrong. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Oh, he's a little bit more bloated now. 
Is this the magic one? There we go. Now you're gonna block the, now you're blocking the path. And then it can fly out and go around the other way and swim, and there won't be ultra current. That's how this works. That was a little ridiculous. I'm gonna also count that as a, uh, as an unofficial, I kind of failed at that boss battle. You also can't swim through in this direction because the rat fish's uh, fat behind is plugging that spot. Not that you can see it on screen, but it is implied to be there. Which I think is a nice touch. Did we get a scarecrow? What is this? This better have been the, uh, the boss that I was supposed to get. Yes, it is a scarecrow. And it builds little lattice work. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure my memory does know what this this means, and that's gonna be another trek back to the Tower of Revival. 